Alright, welcome back. Down here we have some earth elementals, and up here we have a couple of defilers and a pack of wild gnolls. <coughs> also, this guy has not yet left, even though we told him to leave. It's usually worth it to do the random fights, but I'm skipping over them because you don't really need to do them if you don't have to. Of course, that pretty much guarantees that this will be a shorter episode. So, Notaku asked us for butterflies, but... Eh, killing them and we get yelled at, so let's try something else. <clears throat> if you come up here, you come across some seed pods and some sprouts. Plant the seed pod. And a tricreen druid will come up here and, eh, and say, Do you have any butterfly wings? And he will give you some butterfly wings. You're doing that one more for the XP than anything else. The other starting encounter on this map is up here. Oh look, it's our announcer friend. I took a secret tunnel in the sewer. We still have matters to discuss. Sure. Where is this eye? Get out of here before I kill you. Now this guy's actually got some scrolls. But since he's the first one to leave, you, uh kind of need to get your ambush going early. You'll see what Dust Clap does later. Condense is a fun spell. So this guy drops a scroll and a bunch of money. Everything else we don't really It's more or less always to your benefit to make them come to you, instead of just outright initiating the fight. <clears throat> and that's all the default encounters for that area. So coming up here... Coming up here, we find our own slave pen. I need to speak to your leader. I'm a gladiator here to see your leader. And here we see a Templar arguing with the slaver. Join us against Draj. No, kill the Templar inside against Draj. You want to be very careful about your area of effect spells here, because if you anger the slavers, you don't get the prize. Alright, Scylla. Drop a lesser earth down there.
unfortunately, because of how this map is laid out, you will end up getting choked up by the metal arm armor. So fruit, I don't know how much. You will end up getting choked out by the slavers as they come through. Just using the stinky club to buy some time. We'll actually use it to spell magic once we get all the way over there. So is that elemental ever going to actually do anything? Scylla... We're going to give you haste. <laughs> Alliance against Draj, everyone free the slaves, go to Taya Ketzel, everyone is there. And he gives us an enchanted gift card. Not the most powerful weapon in the world, but it's worth a fair chunk of money. And our items are almost full, so we're going to want to pawn off a bunch of stuff when we get to where we're going. Welcome to the Elvish Caravan. This guy is semi-psychic, more so than you would expect from a native Athasian. And he can usually tell when people of ill intent have walked into the caravan. So up here is the Rhystic Circle, and you'll get random people around it, such as today we get Katura. Katura just happens to be Charles' daughter. Charles' adopted daughter. <clears throat> so coming down here, this is the only shop we ever visit around here. We come across the archaeologist Kel. Every shop will buy everything you have. Oh, I just realized he's not wearing a one. That's a stone sword scroll, we don't want to sell that. Or rather, every merchant will buy any item that they can. Even when it doesn't make sense for them to carry it. There are some items that you can never sell, such as the party staff. But for the most part, if you can sell it, anyone will buy it. 
Let's see, I don't use side bracelets. It's not a magic ring. We're not using that gift hook because it's a two-handed weapon. That's that duplicate gem. No, that was the gem from Eadrin, my mistake. So go ahead and pick up that scroll. He sells a bunch of stuff. Some of it actually is genuinely magic. Some of it, he's just uh, selling stuff. I did not mean to buy that. And the important one is the talisman bet. Now, while not everything is usefully enchanted that he sells, everything has a story. And a price. Can't believe I just did that. Now, you do have to be careful. Because he, they will let you sell the Tristram Heart and Tynan's Heart. Never tried selling Apos's heart. We'll hang on to the rope and the grappling hook. It can't hurt to have him. And he will not buy the uh, the hound necklaces. But if you like to talk with him, he will tell you the stories behind the artifacts. For example, the large yellow gem that we bought is just the uh, obelisk gem for this area. And the Talisman of Venom. Bards in the Dark Suns in the Dark Sun setting are actually masters of poison. He got this guy he got this thing from a bard who was very good at driving away enemies. <clears throat> but of course with the Talisman Venom, now we can come over here. Tabrian. The Winer. The wine always goes... Now, you don't need to do the Talisman Venom to get out of this scot-free, but the Talisman Venom makes it easier. Do you drink the wine? Nah. How is the wine trade these days? Oh, it's excellent! In fact, I'd like you to try this stuff. No, not yet. Tell me about the wine you offer. Oh, this wine is the best wine you'll ever drink. Why not try some? No, not yet. Have you always been a venter? I've been a venter as long as I've been with the caravan. Some of this wine is my best vintage. Just try it, you'll love it. No. How long have you been with the caravan? Uh, ever since Drazana took me in. Slavers should be driven to the Silt Sea. Of course, they're bad for business. A toast to the end of all slavers. No. You seem eager for me to drink the wine. Well, of course! Once you take it, once you taste it, you'll be hooked. No, I won't drink your wine. <clears throat> ah, there are so many wines today. I can no longer sell them just by virtue of my talking alone. Won't you try the wine? No. I'll give you two bottles free of charge. No. Another time, perhaps. Goodbye. He's actually trying to poison you, say so he can sell you off to the slavers. The talisman venom will protect you if you drink the wine. If you accuse him of poisoning you, he will come to the caravan master. I've never seen it go in his favor, but I don't want to risk it with the default party. So, <clears throat> I'm Sir Mac. Tell me about the wagon merchants. What's De Brian's business? What's Larissa's business? What's Kel's business? What's Jark's business? How's the caravan faring? Who is raiding your caravan? Where do the raiders come from? Tell me about the Wyvern raiders. Tell me about the Megara. Why haven't you moved on to another city? Yes. Now because of how items end up developing in this game, I do the Wyvern raiders first for a couple of reasons. Reason number one is that the Wyvern raiders are part of the Sedrilt scenario. And reason number two is that if you do Sedrilt before Balcazar, you can actually get a really cool weapon out of it. Wait, we can't do yet. I still got that large yellow gem to put away. Okay. 
So that's the large yellow gem. Scroll the web. Scroll the farm. <clears throat> and now we have one more thing to do up here in the Elvish Caribbean. Now, as I said before, so Brian was trying to poison you so that he could sell you off to some slavers. Not the slavers we just dealt with, another pack. Speaking of slavers, these guys are still trying to leave the area. Oh, hey, these are Violettes. Three of them. That's fun. Oh, dear. Well, at least it wasn't a TPK right off the bat, but it came pretty damn close. So yeah, these guys are still on their way out. So they don't seem to be doing much of much of a lot of moving. Those are those are fire eels. We don't want to mess with them. So anyway, we come down here. <clears throat> Evidently, it doesn't trigger because we never drank the wine. Okay, then. I will see y'all next time. And remember, winners don't lose frauds. <laughs>